January 1, 1836, and Governor General Jean Chrétien Beau has plans to expand the colonial rule of the Dutch over the East Indies. Hello everyone, I call myself Zonderskind and I like to play Victoria 3. This is the first of a four-part series in which I show you two streams in which I played as the Dutch East Indies in Victoria 3 and went for independence as Indonesia. Mechanically, the Dutch East Indies are a fun nation to play. You already start out stronger than your overlord and the neighbors around you are pretty vulnerable to you militarily. Historically, it's good to note that the Dutch East Indies were a jewel in the Dutch Empire crown just as India was in the British Empire one. But even more so than the British, the Dutch really relied on Indonesia after the independence of Belgium in 1830. Um, in the initial part, in this first part, historically Indonesia was ruled with uh, pretty much an iron fist. The Dutch used what was called a kultuurstelsel in Dutch or Tanan Paksa in Indonesia. People were taxed in kind, were forced to work several days on uh, cash crop plantations, which led to abuse and to famines. In this first part, we will expand the rule of the Dutch East Indies over this area. In a game, it's fun to be the bad guy, and that is certainly what we will be doing today. I hope you enjoy. Let's look at our politics tab. We are ruled by the landowners with Jean Chrétien Beau as our governor. We could get uh, Giuseppe Mazzini as a radical um, intelligentsia leader that would be... <laughs> That would be interesting, but I don't think... I think we'd run into a pretty hefty civil war immediately then. I don't think we want that. And our armed forces guy, who is Isaac van Rossum, is authoritarian as well. So yeah, we're, we're locked into an authoritarian state, I think, for now. We have no police at the moment. I think we want police because we'll probably get radicals. So I think that's the first thing you do in the government tab. Um, and I would like government administration as well. Hmm. So maybe the very first thing we do is go to central archives. That works. Um. The intelligentsia probably are going to be marginalized for a while. So I don't think we are going to get the society tech boost. For a bit. Actually going after Lan Fang. <clears throat> even though they're a tributary of the Xing. Of the Tsing doesn't seem too bad because the Tsing don't actually have a navy or they have some navy but they 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 generally don't come to the rescue of their uh, of uh, their uh, tributaries I think we just try you can always go back to the uh, to the auto save anyway uh, let's go conquer state confirm let's go but Portugal also have some uh, some holdings. Maybe we can get rid of those later. Portugal declared a rivalry. That is fine. Spain sides with the Great Sing. Ugh, yikes. Ugh. No. That's bad. That's not great. <gasps> Why? So far, they're not arriving with enough people to actually do this against us. And Portugal declares neutrality as well. I think we can do this. Why do we have such low morale? Wait, what? That makes no sense. At least to me. Why is that? What is wrong? Oh, supply network strength. Okay. This is a bit of a mess, this whole front. We are advancing, it seems. Yeah. There we go. We've won. Huzzah. First, we need to uh, the fight with Malaysia. Lanfang is is already down for the count. Oh crap! Naval invasion, but we're defending. Yeah, there is insufficient support from the from the navy, from the Spanish navy. They were trying to land like on our capital. That's ballsy. So this uh, this is an invasion by General Jose Ramon Rodil, but uh, our general is uh, not having his aggressive maneuver. Go away. 
this ward does take longer than I would have wanted it, but... So, we have a dedicated police force now, and we're in the mud because of that with our... Um, with our government administration, so we need to move that up. Another naval invasion, and this one the Spanish are going to get, because they are attacking Jumbi. Uh, which we will have to counteract, of course. There we go. Kick back, uh, Jose Ramon Rodil. You can't be here. Corner them. And... I guess this battle does have to complete. We have a new industrialist leader. He's a jingoist. That's good stuff. Uh, there we go. Kick rock, Spain. You know you want to out. There we go. There we are. Now we have a gold field. Two even. Nice. And we can say, hey, Siak. You know what would be grand? We just conquered you. And Ernst von Wingle, you're going to the front again. Really being the bad guys in this part of the uh, this part of the playthrough. There's a coffee plantation going up. Spain is damaging relations. No! I thought we were going to be friends. There we go, the Siak subjugation war. Oh, people want to enact tenant farmers. Oh, that would actually be grand. We could get rid of serfdom. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to work because, of course, there's a pretty big stall um, opportunity, but... Hey, we can try. That would be a pretty big step towards reforming the Indies and towards um, weakening the landowners. There we are. So, that's a... Uh, a big pickup for us. And let's immediately start a diplomatic play over here. Yeah. And let's tax the people less. And something look. There you go again. Like I said, really playing the bad guys in this part. There we have the Ache War. Which was very bloody in real life. And if the uh, the developers ever make a DLC pack focused on Indonesia. Which I think would be really interesting. I think the Aceh War is definitely one that could have like a narrative tree. And there we go. Ta-da. Let's now focus our attention. Can we actually go here by land? Yeah, we can go to Bali by land. Bali, unrecognized power, and they're wary of us. Well, they should be. Bye-bye. Bali is uh, activating conscription sectors. I would probably do the same if I were them. It's going okay. There's central archives, which is pretty huge. Now, let's see. Let's go for intensive agriculture first. Okay. And there's a tool shortage. Yep, I'm aware. Here's the battle for Bali. Ernst von Wingler against Dewa Agung Putra Klunkung. Dissenters break ranks. Uh, that's a bad one. Let's take another setback for in exchange for uh, more success chance. Ooh. The relatively lenient Dutch East Indies immigration system has long been attractive to those fleeing the home nations. Giuseppe Mazzini has petitioned to join the stream of people moving to here. Okay, yeah, I guess. Sure. Uh, but we can, of course, now get standardized filing systems. Uh, which is going to strain our paper economy, but YOLO. And let's then immediately go for level 2 colonialism. COLONIALISM! Oh, it it does now have a huge success chance. Is that because... Oh, the political movement has taken in uh, Giuseppe Mazzini. That's amazing! Yes! Haha! <laughs> Get wrecked, landowners. You suck. Nope, nobody likes landowners. 
So we've conquered uh, that part of the Sunda Islands. Good stuff. Anyway, Kutai, I think it's high time you joined the Dutch East Indies. Ernst from England is just our guy, you know? And we've gotten to voting with tenant farmers. It is like on a knife edge because there is uh, there is this stall chance still and we already have two setbacks. So it's very easy to lose it completely now. So working now on the tooling workshop and after that... Yes! Vox Populi! We have tenant farmers. Which uh, takes down the landowner's political strength quite a bit. We're now at 54%. And uh, it means that we have abolished serfdom. Nice. A professional army would also take down the landowner's political strength. And I like that a lot. Also because it makes just for a better army. Uh, can we actually get a better government in here? With the rural folk. Seems okay. Because then we will have a better success chance for professional army. Yes. And there we go. Kutai is going to be subjugated. We're all exhausted. I, I can imagine that Ernst von Wingen is exhausted. I mean, he's he's basically shipping across the, uh, the islands just to conquer stuff. There's intensive agriculture. Which is going to be pretty exciting because then we can get fertilizer from our cows. And we can get... Oh, that is a lot of fertilizer though. How much fertilizer are you going to make? A total of 10? <laughs> Whoops. Or we need chemical plants. Which we do need eventually, so might as well slot them in at least. But then everything agriculturally will have to be livestock ranches basically. Okay, we've conquered Kutai. They just don't know it yet. Bulungan wants a defensive pact. No, this is an insult. And I will use it at my casus belly to invade you. How about that? We have shortages like crazy. Why do we have an iron shortage, by the way? Oh, because they're using it in, in our overlord. <gasps> no! Stop it! Evelyn, stop it. So, we've conquered East Borneo. At least that's good. That also gave us another livestock ranch, actually. So, we have that going for us. Do you have livestock ranches? No. Um, does anyone have livestock ranches we can yoink? There's egalitarianism. Let's go for pharmaceuticals. And then on to Quinine. Because then we can uh, colonize Sulawesi faster. And feel good about that. And Brunei, how are you doing? You're rocking a livestock ranch. Ooh, bad choice. <gasps> you shouldn't have done that. You have the thing I need the most. Let's go. Before the British take it. Won't I need over... Um, 70 livestock ranches? Yep. <gasps> so, what I should really do is get the chemical plant going. Because per level, it gives 90 fertilizer. Oh, yeah. That <gasps> That's way... But the livestock ranch was already building, so that made some sense. Uh, and so was this one. So let's finish those. Like, let's get those livestock ranches. Because it also helps the standard of living. And then let's get a chemical plant. I'm... I, I, I swear it makes sense. There's professional army. That is great. Because that takes the landowners down another notch. Um, they only have a boost left from tenant farmers. Now... The armed forces want us to press for per capita taxation. Um, that would now radicalize the landowners, so... But so would census suffrage. Wait, what? People prefer slave trade? 
What? That doesn't... That doesn't seem right. That's weird. <laughs> that doesn't seem right to me. <laughs> what? Yeah, I think the least egregious thing I can do at this moment is try and go for... Uh, for per capita taxation. It will radicalize the landowners. Probably hold off on it for just a couple months. Ah, actually they just went to minus four, so now I, now I can try. There we go. Propose peace. And we have more Thornio. Good stuff. Let's keep conquering. A furniture manufacturer. You have a livestock ranch. Mwahaha. Bye bye. We have a new rural folk guy who is a slave. Oh no. Gottfried van Oranje Nassau. So he's royal family and he's a slaver. And he's part of the rural folk. Sure. I feel like the rural folk in this. Um, like in, in this constellation should be the native population. This doesn't seem right. Let's take this peace deal. Ta da! Yep. Let's go. Okay. Next on the chopping block. Hey, we're building an arms industry. Good on you guys. A Bulungan. Oh, we have amicable relationships. That can be right. Let's, um. Oh, wait, where do they have their capital again? Because I think I remember this being annoying. Yeah, they have their capital on the islands. But this is all navigable by land. So we can just take those two states. Dun, dun, dun. Boop. And... Uh, boop. Because there we can get the islands, not so much. And there we go. Hey, per capita taxation. That is marvelous. So we've gotten um, everything except slavery banned. And we'll probably have to wait a bit until the landowners are less. He is. Great Britain wants to make Moderna into the Dominion. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> and Hanover refused to become the protectorate of Great Britain. <laughs> Wild. There we go. Peace deal. Thank you. Also, I should incorporate... North Borneo and Luzon, which means that I should get a government administration. Public schools, eh? Education access. Yeah, let's go for public schools. We can just conquer one of the people. Where the overlord of? Um, like Pontianak. You've got a tooling workshop, you've got a gold field, you've got a lead mine, which you can, aren't, aren't working at right now. Let's go. Annex subject. Clean up this corner of Borneo. And of course, then you want independence. You're not getting it. Yeah, they're rebellious. You don't say. You don't say. How is Italy doing, by the way? No unifications yet. And Modena... Uh, is apparently still at war. With, uh, with Great Britain. There are dead here. Oh, it's just due to attrition. Oh, that is sad. And apparently there's a war over here. Oh, is that the British invasion? Wait, what is this? 
United States of America. What happened to the United States? Presidential dictatorship. So you went to an autocracy. Yikes. <gasps> oh no. Dynam would like an alliance with us. I like that a lot. So what we could then do is start to attack Siam. Yeah, we can totally do this. Yip, 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 yip. Question is, would Britain intervene? Hmm. Right, we've gone to neutral here. We can stop damaging those relations. And we can conquer those states. Boop. Yep. So, there we go. And some Dinkler. Yeah. And Modena has become a uh, a British puppet. Or was it a Dominion? A Dominion. <gasps> Rand. So, that's going to hinder Italian unification. Ah, dialectics is now also spreading. Uh, in that case, go there first. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. It's ours. There's the education institution, which if we want to expand that, we do have to get more administration. Hmm. Really like to take on Siam. Because taking either one of these states is just not going to work in terms of market access. Let's see. We could at least get some kind of elections going. Hmm. This just has much higher support because the landowners also support. Let's go. Landed voting. Let's get a parliament in the Dutch East Indies. Which I think was in reality grounded much later and was called the Volksraad. Our infamy is now at zero. You can't have that. But we can try and kick out at least one of the other colonial powers in this uh, in this area. And pick up those dyes and uh, rice farms. I'll probably want... Uh, the Dutch in on that. Offer them an obligation. Oh, and then actually... My puppets leave? That's weird. So maybe that wasn't even the, the right call there. Okay. Beat back the Portuguese. So we're going to take over uh, Timor and uh, the Sunda Islands. So, fighting against Antonio José Severin de Noronha with uh, a Dutch general, uh, Stefan van Saxen Weimar. And the landed voting is in enactment or amendment. And we've almost completely won. Portuguese just don't have the strength to really maintain their colonial empire when challenged. It's quite easy um, if you're a little powerful to just take um, even probably just Mozambique and uh, Congo uh, or Angola off of them. They just don't have really the strength to hold on to that. Shortage of steel? You're being used in the Netherlands. So... We need steel mills over here. Right, we took over uh, Portugal stuff. And we're low enough with Siam that we can go for them. Again, save that up because that has the potential to go very, very wrong indeed. Like a small uh, conquering at first as the primary. And then as the larger demand take your war reparations I might care about taking 
uh, Malaya. And Tennessee, I'm only 0.7 infamy. Get in there. I guess we can go for uh, Liberate Champasak. So we're moving into uh, into Siam while Dynam is actually kind of struggling in the north. Come on, Dynam. You should do better than this. I guess they're going to struggle with war support even sooner than Siam. Yeah, quite heavily, in fact. I don't want to light, like, get off this front either. Because we just have too many uh, eggs in one basket for that. That is going to do it for this episode. Will we succeed in taking over half of Siam or will we be horribly humiliated by them? Find out in the next episode. If you like this one, then do please leave a like. If you have comments, then leave them down there. And subscribe and ding the bell so you know when the next episode goes live. And we will see you then. Bye bye.